Hello, lovelies, and welcome back to An Angel's Life of Bookish Goodness. Hello, lovelies. I know it has been a hot minute uh, since I have done any episodes of An Angel's Life, and I apologize for that. Uh, life has just been super busy, super crazy, and um, with working with our right side and doing the Beautiful Book Geeks, uh, which is an absolute blast for those who don't know about Beautiful Book Geeks, I'll put the link down below, uh, but it's a monthly uh, YouTube cast that I do with the fantastic Rebecca Jonesy and the amazing uh, Amanda Hester when she has a chance to join us. Um, and it's just three of us talking about books and tons of fun and we do it once a month. Um, but I'll put the link to that group down below so you guys can check that out if you're interested in joining us with that. Uh, but between that and everything that's been going on with OWS Inc., our right side, for those of you who don't know, I am on the board of directors for OWS Inc. And we have an amazing group of people uh, that work together to help publish authors, to help teach them how to market their books, uh, to pretty much meet people on every aspect of their journey in the publishing process. And this last year, that I've been working with them, we've been really focusing on expanding uh, that goal, which is to meet every author where they are. The group originally started out before I joined them as just a writing community, Our Right Side. Uh, that's O-U-R-W-R-I-T-E-S-I-D-E, -E, quite clever. And it was just a place for people to help cheer each other on when they were writing, to encourage each other to keep working on their goals, and to foster a positive community. And the original founders built it because they were part of another writing group and things got ugly, as they can do, and competitive, as people can be. And so they created Our Right Side to fill that void and to meet that desire that they wanted. Um, and then they decided to, to expand and to do more they wanted to do a lit journal, um, and they did a couple of episodes of the lit journal, which was absolutely amazing, but they didn't have a really solid audience for it, and they wanted to be able to pay the authors for it, um, and the subscription model wasn't really working for them, and then they said, well, okay, we can't help authors with the lit journal at this time. What if we start publishing authors and help them that way? And so they started publishing books and uh, Amanda brought me in because I had at that point eight years of experience in the publishing industry um, and they were kind of, they had all of the, the spirit and the desire to do the right thing but they didn't have the experience and they didn't have the knowledge. And so they brought me in to help out with that and uh, we got some programs set up and some uh, standards laid out so that we could make sure that not only were we helping authors publish, but we were publishing quality books. Um, we've done an amazing job with that. I'll put a link to our shop down below if you guys want to check out. Uh, not only are we creating amazing books, but we also are creating awesome merchandise for authors. I'm really excited and really pleased with all the awesome bookish goodness that we're working on with that. We also had a desire to help authors that maybe didn't want to publish with us that wanted to go indie because we started out as an indie group and fully supporting uh, indie authors the, the dedication and the commitment and the um, renaissance required to be an indie author is amazing and we totally respect that and we wanted to uh, provide support how we could there so we were doing a lot of help with things like graphic design and marketing and um, developed our chrysalis service for that piece um, 
but that was taking up so much of our time. And although we love helping indie authors, it was taking away from the time that we needed to do our own stuff and the time to do things like this. And so we decided that maybe the better option would be to teach indie authors how to do these things themselves, um, just like we've taught ourselves how to do these things. And so we created OWS University and we're putting a ton of work into OWS University. And uh, I think our goal with Chrysalis is rather than having us doing the work, um, we're going to start collecting a resource of um, professionals that are already out there doing these things and that are willing to do it at the prices that we're setting uh, so that we can kind of act as a middleman and provide um, a quality check and a quality control to make sure that authors are getting uh, the good quality services that they need, that they're not getting ripped off, and to also protect the uh, providers because there are a handful of uh, bad actors in the author world that um, will complain and do whatever it takes to get a freebie, basically. Um, so we're kind of working as a middleman to help facilitate those relationships, to make those recommendations, and to support uh, the people that um, are interested in doing this quality services um, and help them connect with amazing authors who need the services and are willing to pay for the services, but have it at a quality rate. Um, so I think that's where we're going with that. We're still kind of playing with, with how we want to do that. Um, but yeah, all of those awesome, fun things in the fire. Um, and then also I just launched the Survivalist Bible series uh, in October. The first in the series was a part of the Power of Words um, anthology that was put together by MLS Weech. And so now each new book in the series, Exodus, um, for the general public will be available on November 30th. It is currently available to my patrons. I'll put a link to that down below. If you want to join uh, my Patreon group, you can get the Survivalist Bible a month before everybody else gets it. Um, and you can get that starting at a dollar a month. And then if you join at $2 a month, you also get an honorable mention, a thank you, um, in the next month's serial release. So have all that fun stuff going on and putting all that together. Um, and I have so much more going on. <laughs> it just seems like there's always something going on. And um, although I love all of the really fun things that I'm doing, I have noticed that with politics and with um, some of the bad stuff going on in the world. Um, my emotional has just been kind of like this, you know, and um, I've gotten so tied up in dealing with personal drama, financial struggles. Um, our oldest ended up in the hospital again and uh, we're looking at so much financial debt that um, even what I'm making from OWS Inc. and from my book sales isn't enough to be able to support me staying home and working up from home. So um, probably have to go back out into the workplace, um, which, you know, it is what it is. I love what I do with OWS Inc. I'm not going to change that. And I love being an author. I'm going to keep doing that. Um, I guess things will just be moving a little bit slower. Um, unless you want to help support over on Patreon, uh, that would be great. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but with all of this stress and all of this negativity in the world, I realized that I really miss the positivity of an angel's life of bookish goodness. And, you know, I, I know that books can't fix everything, but 
there are so many things that we can learn from books that can help us be better people. And I think that people forget that. And they think that books are just entertainment. And they think that books are just, um, for nerdy people, but really books are for everyone. And yeah, you can to a certain extent get um, some of that empathy building from movies, but because you're a third party watching from the outside, you don't get the internal process and the internal experience. And it makes me sad to watch, but I think that as more and more people stop reading, we see our world become a worse place. And I, I, I don't know how much of that is causation, how much of that is correlation. I don't know. Um, but I do know that some of the most amazing people I know are readers. And I like hanging out with those people. And I love doing an angel's life of bookish goodness. And so despite all of the chaos, despite everything else going on, uh, this is a little piece of goodness that I can put out in the world. Uh, this is a way that I can shift the focus from the negative and from the hurt and from the pain and from the divisiveness that I see going on in the world right now. Um, I really do think that what we put out there is what shapes what the world is. Um, I'm reminded of this great story that my mom told me growing up a boy went to his grandfather and he said, grandfather, I don't know how to deal with all of these feelings that I have going on inside and how do I be a good person? And the grandfather said, we all have two wolves inside of us. One is the negative, the hurt, the hunger, the anger, the fear. And the other is the positive, the love and the warmth and the supportiveness and the community and the positivity. And each of us struggle with those two wolves battling every single day. And the young boy said, well, how do we know which wolf will win? And the grandfather said, the wolf you feed, which I think is beautiful. And it connects to the uh, concept of karma. You know, the, what you put out into the world is what you get back from the world. And so I want to focus on putting out positivity, putting out happiness, putting out a joy and love for reading and for the things that you can learn from reading and to encourage others to keep reading, um, to be empathetic, to try to look at other people's perspectives and to focus on the positive, focus on being supportive instead of divisive, focus on being inclusive and I say this knowing that it's so much easier to lead with fear it's so much easier to lead with anger I get it I struggle all the time and I feel like I've put too much time and energy into that and I'm feeling that coming back to me and my family and I want to focus on the good. I want to focus on the positive. I want to put a joy of reading out there so that you can do the same. So um, probably not going to be posting as often as I was. My goal right now is once a month. Um, if I get more in than that, awesome, but at least once a month. Uh, so 
hope you guys are excited for me to be back. I'm certainly excited to be back. As always, until next time. Thanks so much for watching this episode of An Angel's Life of Bookish Goodness. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that little notification down below. Uh, that way you will get notifications whenever we have a new video. If you would like to support what we're doing over here at An Angel's Life of Bookish Goodness, all you have to do is uh, click the link down below to join our Patreon and all of these amazing patrons over here.